What's up, guys? Mr. Schwo here, and uh, this is a, a lot. I did have one king of a hill left. Here, this is on Thrash Ball from the beta, and uh, unfortunately, I will say though, the last three gameplays I have are all TDMs on checkout. But uh, what can you do? Uh, today, I'm here to bring you guys the news from Rod Ferguson's Q and A, and also something I just found out a little while ago. But uh, let's get right into it. First off, weapon skin info. Okay, here's how this is gonna work. Uh, they, they're set into three different uh, ways you could buy them. Sets, and what I mean by sets and what Rod said was sets, is uh, like one skin for all five weapons. So like say like uh, the gold skin for all five weapons, that would be a set. So if you were to buy a set of skins for one particular weapon, and it is a uh, static, not, like, not an animated, like the flaming skin is an animated, like the flaming one from the beta, this would be like more like the urban from the beta or the omen. But uh, it's 240 Microsoft points, which I believe is $3. So that's not terrible. And an animated skin is 320 which I believe is $4. So, you know, that's not that bad for as far as the pricing goes. But uh, they're going to offer some bundles, which I'll get into right now, which are a little, <laughs> which make it seem like they're really expensive. But uh, I'll let you guys be the judge. So if you wanted to buy. Uh, one skin, probably all 21 skins for one weapon. Say you want to get only Lancer skins, and you'll get all 21 of them if you purchase this bundle, and that will cost you 1,200 points, which is $15. So uh, I'm not sure who would really do that, <laughs> buy, like, all the skins for one gun. So, uh, I mean, that's kind of weird. I know, And also, I just want to throw out that they uh they combined the Nash and Sawed Off into one set. So if you were to buy, like... All the shotgun skins for one skin. Uh, I mean, all the shotgun skins. You'd get it for both the Nasher and the Sawed Off. And the reason they did that is because they say the Sawed Off, it doesn't show like that much of the weapon skin. So, I mean, yeah, that's kind of a nice gesture, you know, for once. They didn't take the low road that they could have taken, which they usually do. And uh, the last thing I'm going to talk about is a um, for all skins for every weapon, every single one. There's a bundle for that too, and that's going to be. 3,600 points, which is $45. So, uh, I mean, that's a lot of money, but that'll get you every single skin. And uh, they talked a little about, like, why it's on the disc and stuff like that. First off, they said things got out faster than they expected, which, you know, that that's going to happen in 2011 with YouTube. That's just how it is. But uh, they said the main reason they put... They always plan this stuff to be paid DLC, but they wanted to make it so that uh, everyone could see it. Now, I don't know if that's the real reason <laughs> that this is uh, like this. But uh, they said they wanted to avoid compatibility packs, which is, you know, fine. That's 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 all well and good. So instead of having a compatibility pack, these will all be on disc. So when you buy them, everyone, your opponents can see them. Your teammates can see them. You'll be able to fully show them off to everybody. And when they put it like that, it doesn't sound so bad, you know? But, yeah, that's, uh, that's the info on the weapon skins. They're pretty pricey, but... At the end of the day, it's really not that bad. And uh, also, I got some news on the flaming retro, the, uh, the flaming retro lancer. Now, uh, in the beta, you can only get the flaming hammer burst, lancer, sawed off, and regular nasher. It was never announced how you could get the flaming retro, and we saw it in a little video preview on the Xbox 360 dashboard, so we knew it was real. But uh, what they're gonna do is they're gonna tie it to an event in game, like they're gonna have that event calendar. So they they wanted to keep that whole uh, the the th the uh, set of flaming skins with the whole event like you know doing things on their terms when they want to do it you know, which is cool. So at least we know we're gonna get it and uh, it won't even be paid or anything. It's just gonna be part of an event. That's cool. And that's gonna, the same for the uh, Microsoft skins. Uh, a lot of people were complaining apparently that we have to wait till October to get them because it'll be part of some Microsoft promotion in October. Uh, but apparently, uh, they were never meant to go out to everybody. They were only ever meant for Microsoft employees, and Microsoft volunteered to let everyone have them as part of some promotion, so we're kind of lucky we got them at all. That's basically uh, what I got from Rod. So, whatever. Again, I mean, really, you're going to complain about that. Oh, we got to wait till October. At least you got something to look forward to. You know, like half the fun with these games is the build-up and getting there, and after they come out, it usually slows down, but we're going to still have things to look forward to, so that's cool. Uh, another big thing I want to talk about is they're going to be resetting the leaderboards. So all you people who are already playing the game, sucks to be... Well, I'm, I guess it really doesn't. I mean, you still have the experience and all that. They can't reset your level. They said that. Levels will stay. But they're going to reset the leaderboards. So this way everyone gets a fair shake, which is 
you know, that's a smart thing to do. That's going to make a lot of people happy. I'm one of them. Also, a lot of people worried about uh, how fast people were leveling up. Uh, they said, first of all, they can adjust the experience curve at any given time. So if they feel like people are leveling up too fast, they can always shut that down or slow it down. And uh, they also said that you'll get to like, you know, get pretty deep like in the level count, but it'll take, it'll still take a long time to get to 100. And that's, I could see that because they said in Gears 2, like getting to level 82 was the halfway point. You know, so it seemed like you were really far, but you were only halfway. You had a long way to go still. You had a high number, but you weren't getting to 100 like anytime soon, you know. And it looks like that's going to stay the same in Gears 3. So we'll get to Anthony Carmine at a reasonable level. And uh, at a reasonable amount of time, I should say. So that's good for me. That's That's been my guy since Gears 1. Although I'm not sure what I'm going to do with Gears 3. There's so many characters, I'll probably just you know change it around. But anyway... Uh, also, when you guys get the game, there is a spoiler in Horde. There's a creature in Horde mode that is unannounced. Uh, that's a big part of the campaign, apparently. So Rod suggests playing campaign before playing Horde. Uh, I personally, unfortunately, I, I probably know what it is. Cause I've, I've heard some things about the campaign that I didn't want to hear. But, uh, you know, whatever. I digress. Uh, also... Uh, there's no mutators in multiplayer at all, but they will have them in events, and these events will have their own specific playlist, so they won't affect all parts of the game. So if like if they have like a big head mode event, you won't be forced to play with big heads. It'll be a special playlist. So that's cool. Uh, all right, I uh, got a little horde thing. Okay, when you play horde, apparently the first time you'll only be able to build the little spike strips. So yeah, over time, you have to gain skills to build better things like the laser wires and all that stuff. And all that will transfer from Horde game to Horde game. So like, you have to build up the ability to use the silverback or the laser wires and or you know, the bigger, better fortifications. So that'll, that transfers from Horde to Horde. So playing Horde like one time isn't the full experience like it was in Gears 2. Like you'll level things up. You'll, it'll make it a more fun experience to make your guy more important on the battlefield and stuff like that. Uh, money, however, does not. So every time you play Horde, you'll start at zero dollars and have to build your way up. And uh, that's pretty much all I got from the Q and A. There's one more thing I want to talk about, though, and that's uh, apparently Warzone and Execution are now down to three rounds. And uh, at first, that kind of bothered me, but like when you think about it, those matches got pretty long and campy in Gears Two, and that probably like turned them off a little bit, and they maybe wanted to shorten up. I mean, of course, uh, they can adjust that on the fly. I'm sure. So if people don't like it, I mean, because Gears, let's face it, Gears 3 is going to be more fast-paced than Gears 2. That's a given. We, we saw it in the beta, and I don't see any reason to suspect we won't see more of that in the future. So I'd expect it to get changed back, but I'm also not entirely close-minded to the idea of a nice, quick, get in, get out. So, I mean, we'll have to see how it plays out. And I'm not going to panic about it, even if I don't like it, because I know it's not a big deal for them to change it. You know, people get up in arms about all these things for, like, that really aren't that big a deal, if you know what I'm saying. I'm sure in the end they'll probably change it. So, yeah, that's pretty much it on the news for today. Uh, I'm going to bring you guys uh, three more gameplays left. So I'll give you guys, since tomorrow will be two days to go, I'll do two on.